Okay, let's be honest now. Have you ever whispered to a plant, hoping it might grow just a little bit faster? Or played music, thinking it could help your garden thrive? Today we're diving into the fascinating science behind this quirky idea. Let's find out if being a true plant whisperer actually works. Talking to plants has been a charming idea for generations. Some people swear by it, saying their plants seem happier, greener, and healthier with a little verbal encouragement. But what does the science actually say? Believe it or not, there's growing research showing that plants do respond to sound, even if it's not in the way we think. Plants don't have ears like we do, but they're incredibly sensitive to vibrations. Inside their cells are structured called mechanoreceptors, which detect mechanical stimuli like wind, touch, and yes, sound waves. These vibrations can trigger all sorts of responses, from improving nutrient absorption to boosting growth. For example, studies have shown that certain sound frequencies, between 100 Hz and 500 Hz, can enhance root elongation and help plants to absorb nutrients more efficiently. It's almost as if they're listening to their environment. The Royal Horticultural Society even tested this with human voices. In their experiment, plants exposed to recorded voices grew taller than plants left in silence. Interestingly, higher-pitched voices, like female voices, had a slightly bigger effect, likely because of the unique vibrations they produce. And it's not just voices. Research has also shown that playing music for plants can lead to healthier growth. Classical music with its steady rhythms and harmonic tones has been especially beneficial in studies, helping plants grow taller and produce more biomass. But it's not all good vibes. Louder, chaotic sounds like heavy metal can stress plants out, showing just how sensitive they can be to their audible environment. Of course, plants naturally respond to more than just sound. Wind, for example, helps them develop stronger stems. Rain stimulates root growth, and even vibrations of chewing insects can trigger their defense mechanisms. So when you're talking to your plants or playing them some music, you're mimicking natural stimuli that can actually benefit their growth. Of course, the idea of being a plant whis whisperer has a humorous side. But at the heart of it, it's about connecting with your plants and creating an environment where they can thrive. And spending time with your plants, whether you're whispering, singing, or just observing, can help you better understand their needs. So if you want to try your hand at being a plant whisperer, here's a few tips. Speak softly. Plants might respond better to gentle vibrations. Play classical or instrumental music to create a calming atmosphere. Spend time observing. The more attention you give them, the better you'll understand their needs. Whether it's science, myth, or just a bit of fun, being a plant whisperer is a great way to connect with your garden. And who knows, your plants might thank you for it.